We've been discussing the subject of wisdom, how to acquire it through prayer, how it can be passed on through impartation, how that heaven will open and God will bring revelation and pass wisdom onto your life. Uh, this principle is, is as old as the family of man. There, there are ages in the past in so many different parts of the world where portals of the heavens open and there's an impartation of unusual wisdom that comes into the lives of individuals, sometimes families, uh, and sometimes even nations, uh, because individuals, families, and nations uh, are known uh, in history uh, for their uncanny wisdom. And so, so this kind of wisdom is something that we're seeking and asking God for, not just as uh, part of our life skills to navigate through life, but as part of developing a legacy, uh, imparting to the next generation the kinds of lasting uh, tenets of faith, values, uh, and, and principles by which we, we can have better lives in the earth. And so we'll, we'll start uh, by working through Proverbs chapter number 1 today. And in Proverbs chapter number 1, the first seven verses, they are there basically seven basic principles by which the book of Proverbs is founded on and also by which wisdom stands on. The Bible does say in Proverbs chapter number 9 that wisdom has seven principles and or seven pillars that it's built on. And we'll look at these uh, in Proverbs chapter number 1. Proverbs chapter number 3 verse 19 says this, that the Lord by wisdom has founded the earth. So if we're going to start anything in our lives, if we're going to build anything, if we're going to construct a ministry or, or, or found a business, or work in some vocation, whether it's in the political sector, financial sector, wherever we're going to find our lives, the foundation of our life must be built on the principle of wisdom. Because the scripture says, the wise man built his house upon the rock. That rock are the principles of wisdom. And as Christians, uh, Jesus Christ, who is the spirit of wisdom, uh, he encompasses all, all of what we are and all of what we believe. And so because the Lord founded the earth on the principles of wisdom and by understanding establish the heavens we too uh, must seek wisdom uh, to found the things we're doing in the earth realm so let's look at proverbs chapter number one starting from uh, verse one starts off by saying the proverbs of solomon the son of david king of israel to know wisdom and instruction to perceive the words of understanding to receive the instruction of wisdom justice and judgment and equity to give subtlety to the simple and to a young man knowledge and discretion a wise man will hear and will increase learning a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels to understand a proverb and the interpretation of the proverb the words of the wise and their dark sayings and the fear of the lord is the beginning of knowledge but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So, so in this tremendous montage and array of, of gems, Proverbs 1, 1 through 7, is literally hours and hours of teaching and instruction and concepts uh, and precepts that we can build, not just our lives, but literally build generations. Solomon is going to unfold seven basic principles on which uh, the necklace of wisdom can be hung. Uh, God's infinite precepts uh, are, are given to us through his word, the Bible, in, in palatable sizes and can be applied to every person's life, no matter what level of life or sphere or strata of life one finds themselves in. Uh, one individual verse, one individual word can mean a thousand things to a thousand people because of the various places we find ourselves in life, culturally, ethnically, uh, also uh, in terms of our learning, our, our ability and our acquisition of knowledge, our retention of knowledge, our historical backgrounds, and so on and so forth. And so, so here, these seven principles are going to be used by, by God through his infinite precepts to build us in generations, in millenniums, in centuries, to build our lives in different cultures. I'm African, black African, you might be Caucasian, 
uh, Anglo-Caucasian, or you might be French, French-Caucasian. Uh, a simple principle can mean something different to you, but collectively, in God's infinite wisdom, it's going to build our lives. And so we talked about in a previous session how to pray for wisdom. And so in these seven principles in Proverbs chapter number one, we're going to pray for this kind of wisdom to be released in our lives and to be imparted in our lives. So the first thing that Solomon deals with here is the wisdom that is given for character training. Character training. He says to impart words unto young men, to, to give younger men to know certain things in terms of, of instruction in, in justice and in judgment and in equity. That is to, to build one's life, to build one's character, uh, to be uh, men and women uh, that possess integrity, to, to work with all things in excellence, uh, to pursue truth, to be honest, uh, to exercise discretion, to be a person uh, who has strong values that doesn't depart from those values, one that is not compromising, one that's not double-tongued, a person who, who abhors lying but, but builds on the principles of justice and equity. That's what Solomon's talking about in wisdom. And so wisdom will build your character. The second thing he talks about here is understanding and discernment. That means to understand a concept. This has to do with uh, intellectual prowess, uh, one that has been endowed with, in, uh, with academic gifting, uh, where uh, one's ability to retain knowledge, to seek knowledge, uh, and to express knowledge, to discover knowledge. Uh, all of that is in the umbrella of wisdom. And he says here, to receive this kinds of wisdom through instruction, through words of understanding, has to do with one's ability to academically and intellectually apply knowledge. And of course, there are several levels of intellect or, or intelligence. Uh, and even though those exist within the academic world, over and above that, we need wisdom. And then number three, he talks about prudence. And he says, where through prudence, we, we give uh, to the simple and we give to those that uh, may not fully grasp the full velocity of life, but we live our lives within the premise of, of certain values where we, we do not compromise these specific values that God would give us, make us prudent in, in all of the things we do in our lives. And then number four, uh, he talks about wisdom uh, is one of the things possessing a common sense or having practical common knowledge as to how life lives. You may not have had access to a good school in some cases. There, there may not be uh, academic ability. We might not have been endowed with that kind of gifting but wisdom to have good common sense, to understand how life works and to make application on, on life issues uh, is wisdom within itself. And this becomes pertinent, especially to our daily living. And then number five, he deals here with the principles for success. And he, he talks how we can increase in learning, increase in understanding and attain unto wise counsels. And these have to do with principles for success. Uh, the Lord spoke to Joshua in Joshua 1 verse 8. And he said, Joshua, you must meditate in my word. Keep the words of my, of, of my word on your tongue. Meditate on it day and night because it's here that you'll gain and access good success. And everything you do will prosper. And so the, the, the word of the Lord, seeking wisdom, will, will guarantee good success on any level that we're functioning in. And the higher you go and the greater success you need, it's going to be because of the wisdom that you attain and seek from God. And then there's number six, uh, the themes of life, how, how to study and function within the confines of, of one's life. Uh, because every person is on a journey at any given moment in your life. There is a journey in your life, your, your journey through uh, your childhood years, your journey through adolescence, your journey through adult life. And in your adult life, it's uh, marriage experience or having children experience or even, uh, unfortunately for some, going through a divorce or having the, the loss of a loved one, a child dying, a spouse dying, losing a mother, uh, experiencing disappointment. 
So there, there's definitely wisdom that's needed to navigate the treacherous waters of life. Uh, and, and this wisdom only comes uh, when, when God imparts it through us, uh, through his gift and revelation. And then number seven, uh, Solomon talks about uh, the wisdom to understand dark sayings, to understand mysteries. There are many, many dark sayings in the Bible, many, many deep codes of the scripture. It's called metaphor or anthropomorphic terminology where God through an allegory or through some sort of a, a covered shrouded mystery hides the truth. Uh, the scripture says in Proverbs 25 and verse 2 that it is the glory of God uh, that, that hides a mystery. God's glory covers a mystery. And it's through wisdom that we access these mysteries. In the book of Matthew chapter number 13 from verse 11, Jesus says that it is given to you to understand the mysteries of the kingdom of God. So this comes through wisdom. And I pray that God will give you the kinds of wisdom to access dark sayings, to understand the deep things of life, uh, to, to delve into the complexities that govern and shape entire nations and cultures. And so in a previous uh, lesson, we talked about praying for wisdom. This is a place for you to work through this list of seven and ask God to give you wisdom to build your character, wisdom to discern uh, and, and develop intellectual prowess, wisdom to be prudent, wisdom to, to have common sense and to work through relevant considerations through daily living, a wisdom that's necessary for success that can be expanded, wisdom that comes through uh, studying the themes of life, and then finally, uh, wisdom to break through mysteries and understand dark sayings and begin to construct the basic premise of Proverbs. I pray that God will give you that wisdom. Father, I pray for every person today. I pray that you'll give them great wisdom. Let the wisdom of God go beyond their understanding. Let it be imparted into their life. God bless you so very much in your quest for wisdom. I'm Bishop Tudor Bismarck from Harare, Zimbabwe, pastor of New Life Covenant Church.